Hey, how you doing today? Better than earlier? That's good. That's good. So I was thinking and I realized that I never actually said who I was and what the heck I'm doing. So I feel like I owe you an explanation on everything. Um, let's start first with who I am. So I'm Jody, and this is Video Chat with Jody. I basically came up with the idea to start a podcast, and the most simple way that I could think of was to do a video podcast, because YouTube, and to have it unedited, because when it comes to me and editing things, because I have a background in, before I even get in there, let's start at the beginning. Okay. So where did I grow up? I'm Jamaican, born and raised, um, lived in the islands for 14 years around that. And then I moved to America for like seven and something years. And then after that, I went all over the world, lived in many different countries and picked up a lot of different things from a lot of different cultures, which basically melded into me being exactly who I am today. Um, hobbies. I love to read. I'm a book nerd, book nerd. I'm, I sing, I dance. I, I'm an artist. So everything that comes with the idea of being an artist that I embody that completely. Um, where am I now? Because I'm always traveling. So a few, like last week I ended up in Florida for like a day and then came back to New York. But currently as of this video, I am in New York. Now, I can't tell what's going to happen after, and I love it like that. I love traveling, and if I can be anywhere in the world at any given time, I will be ready because my bags are always packed. And it's funny because everything that I have, like every trinket, every little gadget and everything that I have, even to go to the gym, it is the TSA size for going through the airport. And I realized that the other day and I laughed because I just, I love traveling. Everything I do revolves around traveling. Okay. So what do I care about? I care about knowledge and I care about learning everything. If something intrigues me, I want to learn what it is. I, I'm going to dive so deep that it basically I wouldn't say take over my life, but if you ask me something that I'm intrigued with yesterday, I can tell you a whole bunch of things today. And that's what I feel like life is about. I feel like life is about exploring different interests and getting so deep that it basically changes your life. Because I mean, why else would we really be here on earth if not to explore everything that we find interesting? So that's kind of what I do <laughs> with my life. And um, I wanted to share that unapologetically and without filter because everything on the internet well, I won't say everything, but majority of the things on the internet and social media are fake. Fake, 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 fake. And it's very rare that I can find something that's unedited. And I feel like that's sad because we've been taught, and it's not, it's not, it's not our fault because we've been taught to do this. We've been taught to think that we have to show only the best parts of us and only the parts that people will accept. We have to hide all the flaws and 
flaws and everything that basically makes us unique. And that's not, that's not true. I feel like, I feel like those are the parts that we we should be embracing and making those moments more because that's what makes us, us. So I feel like I wanted this to be unedited because of the lack of things being unedited. And it's also forcing me to step back from editing and and just like trying to make things perfect. Because as I was saying earlier, I went to school for um, computer graphics and graphic design and communication arts. So I've been trained in video editing, even though most of it that I learned was on my own, but I know how to cut things, how to put it in, how to do a whole bunch of things when it comes to video editing. That's my skill. But at the same time, I found that everything that I was doing, it was more cutting out the parts that my my little quirks. I was just like cutting out like, okay, that part, I repeated that part like maybe two times, which, you know, in general, yes, you do want to shorten certain things. So it keeps people, people with you. But at the same time, it was like, I wasn't liking what I was seeing. And at that time, it's like, wait, but this is kind of who you are. And then in that moment, I'm like, okay, if I don't like this, then I'm going to expose myself to it more so I can actually fix it. I don't like it, fix it. So my way of doing that is to do something that's unedited, which forces me to not have these long pauses because I can pause forever while having a conversation and think about something and then come back to it. And me doing these unedited videos and podcasts, it really forces me to think quicker. And I love that because I challenge myself to see like, hey, I don't like this part. I stutter too much when I get super excited. So I have to take it down a notch and think with the level head so the words can actually come out. And these are the things that happen because I chose to embrace my quirks and say, you know what, if it comes out, it comes out. If people resonate with it, they do. If they don't, then they don't. And I chose to accept that. So moving on, why am I doing this? And what really pushed me to start video chat with Jody? As I just said, everything on social media is Again, I won't say everything. Most of the things on social media is fake. And I'm I'm very anti-social media. I deleted my Facebook a few years ago. I even deleted Instagram. Well, not deleted Instagram, but like my old Instagram, I deleted all the posts and everything. And I just, I was just so caught up in the, toxicity of it that I've I've had to stop and think, is this worth checking a million times a day? Is this worth my time? Am I getting anything from this that I'm putting in like a million percent? What am I, what am I really getting from this? And it took me answering those questions to really understand that I was just on it to be on it. And that's not serving me. That's not serving what I was trying to do at that time. And I just stopped. So with me coming from a very anti-social media world where I get it, the world moves forward, technology moves forward, everything moves forward. Communication is, is now so instant that I can speak to a friend who lives in Japan right now and I can FaceTime them 
video chat on WhatsApp or something. And it's not unheard of when, when I was younger, most of the conversations that I would have with anyone living overseas would be through a letter most of the times, or I would have to go to my cousin's house and wait for my mother to call on their house phone because we didn't have a house phone. And at that time, having cell phones was just a huge taboo. So yes, technology has evolved so much where me thinking of calling someone in Japan right now is not unheard of. It is a very normal thing to do. So with embracing everything that happens with technology and all, it's it brings me back to where I feel like there is the plus side of it and then there's the negative side of it. And the negative side of it is we tend to lose the connection with the people that we are around. And instead of connecting with those that are here physically, we choose to connect with everyone else in the internet, on the internet, across the world, some people that we've never really met. And we put more of our effort into that instead of building what is with us physically in our community and all. And that's kind of the downside of technology to me. And I felt myself doing that. So what I did was just step back from all of it and kind of evaluated the people that I was around because it wasn't a good set of people that I was around. And it took me really focusing on the physical aspect of those relationships to understand that instead of just, oh, I'm trying to build this following, I'm trying to do this and I'm trying to do that, but nothing was actually going how I wanted to because physically I wasn't in the the right environment to do that. So what really pushed me to start Video Chat with Jody was I have a blog and I've been writing this blog since 2020. And I have a whole lot of articles that I've written about. And there are things that I've learned over the years and things that I see that people could use help with. And again, because I'm the nerd who likes to research everything, I put all of my experiences and the research that I did together in order to help other people not struggle with the same things that I did. So... I felt like at a point my blog was evolving and that I needed to speak more instead of write (laughs) more. And I still do love writing. Like I journal, it's been a while since I've journaled, but every time I journal, it's like three, four pages of words that just flowing out of me. And whenever I get the urge to do, to, to sit down and actually write a blog post, it feels, it feels really good that I'm helping someone who's actually going to read this. So that's kind of what pushed me towards making this more visual instead of actual just words on a screen. And at first, like, I never understood what a podcast was. And it took my friend, Nicole, who actually started a podcast, to really open my eyes to that, where she was like, in the morning time, she would listen to a podcast. And that whole conversation was, um, I love silence. I love the quiet. I love being in nature where the only thing that you can hear is really the wind going through the trees and the occasional bird singing. I love that. It's so peaceful to me. And in New York, where everything's always screaming at you, the AC in the summertime is so damn loud. I tend to sleep with, well, now, 
because I'm just like, I can't deal with this anymore. Now I sleep with like these earplugs in, so it kind of blocks out most of the sound and it's so peaceful. So the conversation that I was having with Nicole was she likes to have something playing in the background, you know, like background noise, like white noise, and she chooses podcasts. Now, at that time, I didn't know what the heck a podcast really was. And I was more, my knowledge was more into like radio shows and all that. So lo and behold, a podcast is kind of like a radio show, except um, some people just either sit and talk about what the hell it is they're talking about, or they include music and all. And it's a lot easier to not include music. So, you know, all licenses and everything. But that's where my idea sparked to do a podcast. Wow, I said that completely wrong. That's where the idea came from to do a podcast. But, you know, the idea was there, the seed was planted, but I never really knew how to move forward with that. So me being the nerd that I am, I bought a book. I downloaded other podcasts to learn how to podcast. And the idea came to me where, you know, I was listening to everything and it came back to the editing. You have to edit, you have to edit. And I got to the point where I was like, what if I don't want to edit? What if I just do something that is unedited, where I am forced to come out of my shell and not think, oh, I'll fix it in post. I'm just going to sit here and do what I'm going to do the right way and record it, or even if it's the wrong way, record it and put it out there. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many things that I have in storage or whatever, it matters how many things I actually release. And most of the things, like I have a ton of footage of everything. And my number one issue is sitting down and editing them. So in order to do this and to do it, how I feel like would be the most effective way, I would have to just sit down, speak and put it out. And that's why, that's why I'm doing this. That, that was my, um, that was my push to be authentically creative without fear, because at the end of the day, it's why I edit a lot is because, oh, maybe this person is not going to like this and they're going to say something about this. And it's like, I can be a perfectionist and this is pushing me to not be a perfectionist. And that's a great thing. Because perfectionism can keep you in one place. I was looking for another word, but that's a word that came out. <laughs> but um, perfectionism can keep you right where you are and you're thinking that you might, you're, you're trying to push forward, push forward, but then it doesn't actually you're not going anywhere because you're spending all your time on making this one thing perfect. And then it's never perfect. So you never put it out. And that's what I want to, that was my hurdle that I needed to jump over and I'm jumping. <laughs> so, um, so what do I care about? I care and crave something real, something unfiltered, something unedited, like, I feel like conversations with friends are where I thrive and I wanted to capture that feeling and basically put it in video podcast form. And I have a quick story to tell. Um, so when I was younger, my grandmother was the one that actually told me this. And she was like, someone in the house asked me about something that referred to another person. So they were asking me about someone else. And what I said 
was the truth. However, it was very, it was very rude, sort of, or I wouldn't say rude. It was unfiltered where it was like, I'll give an example. I don't know. I don't know what was said, but I'll, I'll just give an example. So if someone asks me about someone else that normally comes around and they're like, oh, what do you think about this person? And I'll be like, well, one, they ask for too much. And two, they act like, you know, there are certain things and, and, and there may be a leech that let's go with that. They're a leech. And my grandmother said, I would get my ass whooped, like whooped because I said this and she's sitting there and she's like, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why exactly are you beating her? And they're like, she shouldn't say that. And she's like, but did she lie? I didn't. And she was like, you know, stop beating her for telling the truth. I mean, how insane was that? I got beaten for telling the truth. And my grandmother was like, you know, years later when she's telling me this, she's like, you know, you're, you were always down to earth and you always told things as it is like no sprinkles on top, just raw, just plain. And a lot of people would be offended by that. And it took her telling my family to not beat me for, for these things, because one, that's a good trait to have, because why would you want someone to lie to you instead of actually telling the truth? And that has been my life, <laughs> like my entire life. I, <laughs> I, I don't sprinkle anything on top to make it sound better. I really don't. It comes out as it is. And sometimes it may come out a little harsh, but I mean, well, I do mean well. And People get offended. People get really offended. But at the same time, I've learned to understand that it's not because of how I, well, yes, how I really say it kind of sting them a bit, but it's because they're not ready to hear that yet where they have a defense up against that. So if anybody says says anything slightly close to that, their defense mechanism is going to be like, what the hell? So that's kind of what I've experienced. So I love having conversations like that. And when that came to me really expressing everything that I've experienced, the people that I speak to and everyone that I'm around, Everyone kind of likes this. They like that. Oh, when he asks Jody, she's going to tell you the truth. Yes, she is. <laughs> Even if the truth makes Jody look bad, Jody going to tell you the damn truth. And when it comes to things like, well, that's really the main one. If you ask me something, I'm really going to tell you the truth. And that's what I'm interested in interested to talk about. That's what I'm putting forward to speak to everyone who watches these videos. And I love diving deeper into things that interest me. And I love, wow. Okay. Camera is overheated. Never seen that happen, but Hey, so I'm going to have to wrap this up soon. So I love experiencing things because, you know, we experience things in our daily lives, like even if you decide to stay in all day, you still experience something that makes your day memorable. So I love to enjoy these things. I love to analyze a lot of things. And it intrigues me when I dive deeper and find questions that I never knew I needed to ask. And then when I ask those questions and get the answers that do show, I realize that there are a lot of people who may have these answers as well. So that's what I want to share with you, unedited, unfiltered, and just being 100% me. And I'm an artist. I'm an artist who loves 
history. I'm an artist who loves technology. I'm tech nerd here. And I love to understand and evaluate human behavior. I love doing things that make life a lot easier. And I love sharing those things with other people to make their life easier. Because if we aren't helping each other, then we're not evolving as a species. So that's what you'll get on video chat with Jody. That is my main goal for this. And I I will forever give my unfiltered opinion on the things that we encounter in life. That is my goal for this. And if you want to hear any of that, stick around because there will be a lot, a lot, a lot more. And I would love to thank you from now for choosing to be on this journey with me. And choosing to learn something new because a lot of people don't want to learn things new. And I feel like learning is how we evolve into being the best that we can be. So this is why we're doing this. This is why I'm doing this. And thank you. And I will see you next time on Video Chat with Jody. So until we speak. Bye. Take care of yourself and drink some water. Okay. Bye.